Okay, we're back. Alright, so... We're gonna be going over these changes from the Global Labs, okay? And basically, let me give you the preface of what I mean by, uh... Why these these changes are kind of it's gonna be very polarizing, okay? For me, me personally, I feel like they're going in the wrong direction. But let me give you guys the preface of why I think that. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of PvP. I've done the AOS thing. I've done the RBF thing. I've done the one v one thing. And out of all of these three things that feel really bad right now, is honestly the one v one BA experience. And then followed by that is the. The RBF experience, and then followed by that is the most balanced of them all, which is capped content, which is AOS or basically uh, Node Wars in general. So, yes, the, the the capped stuff feels really good. If you fight trial versus trial character, it feels great that you can't even tell what's missing. It feels really balanced, okay? But if you do 1v1 or you go into RBF where shit's not capped, that's where you see the flaws, bro. They're, everyone's too tanky. Everyone is way too tanky. It's like, well, Picante, isn't that like what we wanted to get away from? The one combo meta? Yeah, that is true, right? We were trying to get away from the one combo meta, right? It makes sense. It's, it's quite, it's boring to see someone get CC'd once and then just get instantly popped like a pimple, you know? Like, it, it's just like, it's not fun to watch. It's not fun to shoutcast. There's no, like, methodicalness to it. There's no counterplay. It's just like, if you got lucky, you got a CC, you won the fight. Cool, right? It's boring, right? That is, we all agree that that's boring. But now, this new system that we got, everyone's tanky to the point where you cannot kill each other. You literally cannot kill each other at all. And the reason why you can't kill each other is because the healing on every single class is just too much compared to how much damage reduction we have. We have a crap ton of damage reduction, and we have all of this, like, HP per second coming in, like Draconia, bro. I, it's funny how they put the, the thing right here. It's Draconia. It's like, yeah, dude, Draconia's gonna lose their healing. So what the devs decided to do is just remove all healing from all the, the classes, okay? And I'm just like, okay, they, they know what they're doing, okay? But, like, let's just go through it, okay? I feel like there's too much healing right now for us to be this tanky, okay? So let's just, let's just read what they got going on, okay? And also the, the hit reductions too, bro. I mean, RBF in particular is just because of that DR buff in uh, Inherit Arena. Yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, you get the combined DR from the point stuff. You also get an additional, I don't know how much K HP. But, yeah, you get additional stats, which it's negligible, right? It's negligible. So, that's why I'm saying, like, if 1v1 feels really bad because you always bounce off each other and you can't, you can't, you can't end the fight. You literally cannot end the fight. Like, someone who's really good at PvP is not going to make four mistakes in a row. It's usually you make a mistake, and then they catch you in a CC, and then you wake up from half, and then you catch them, and then they wake up from half. But by the time they catch you again, you're already back to full because of the amount of HP that you're getting during that time. It's not like you make three mistakes in a row without your opponent making a mistake. Because if your opponent makes a mistake, that gives you time to heal, okay? So let's, let's actually jump into this before I actually, like, don't read the patch notes and just tell you the TLDR, you know? So right here, uh, speed reduction effects, right? Reduce movement speed, attack speed, reduce casting speed, right? So basically, this is saying that, hey, man, like, fucking attack speed and slows are just kind of ridiculous, which I do agree, especially after this uh, these hit changes. So now, like, if you slow someone and then they try to full combo you, they literally do zero damage to you because they cannot hit you with the last portion of their their backloaded damage, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, you need a reliable down smash combo. You know what class has a reliable down smash combo? You want to know what class has a reliable down smash combo and it turns into an infinite combo? Drac. I was fighting a Drac, bro, the other day and they were teabagging me in BA. And they were using an infinite combo on me, and I'm just like, I was in my chair, bro, and I was like, why is this guy doing this, bro? Like, doesn't he know that, like, Drac is a triple S tier of a broken class, and they also got an infinite combo with the shit ton of down smashes, so it doesn't matter what AP they build, they're still gonna be really tanky, and they're still gonna remove your health bar. Alright, let's, let's get back to it, let's get back to it. Alright, so basically, if you slow someone, and they try to combo you, they're not comboing you if you have them above 50 or 40%. So 
So they're just like, okay, well, that's a little bit of a goof. Let's remove it down to five seconds, and then it's off to 20% slow. So now you only could, like, what is it? It could go up to 20%, okay, which is great, right? So now we're getting basically half of the slows for half of the time, which is amazing, okay? I'm not really going to go too, too much into this, but basically everything, every the, the maximum amount of slows are getting reduced by half. The, the amount and the time, okay? So that's cool, right? Which is needed because, like, there's classes like fucking Zerker that have... That could stack a 65% slow on you, which means if you try to get any attack speed to counteract the the slows, you are SOL because, uh... That you can't, you can't reduce it because you're, you're always going to be over -capped. Okay? So this is just going over the, the movement speed, right? Now, if we, go, if we go over here, so this is for all classes, right? The blue portion, and this is the blue portion where I'm very concerned about. This blue portion right here, it says we're affecting the debuffs related to speed reduction because it decreases, blah, blah, blah applies up to 20%. Right? The following changes to evasion options, special evasion has been one of the most important changes to PvP, right? But the number of hits there, a large variation of damage. That's why everyone's saying that special attack evasion is kind of dumb during this meta. Because literally, you just don't take damage 20% of the time, which is crazy, right? So they said, according, we would like to change the specs of the, the effects of special attack evasion, where now you get 75 HP per 1% of special attack evasion. So now they're changing special attack evasion completely. So now, if you look right here, if I go right here and I look at my crystals, right? If, if I go to my crystals and we look at... Oh my god, I can't even... The, these menus are confusing. We go right here, we look at Special Attack Evasion, right? You can run two of these mofos. Special Attack Evasion, plus 10%, right? And then it also gives you plus 100 HP. So, if we're getting 75 HP, plus 100 for 1% of, uh, of it, bro, we're getting 750 HP per Special Attack Evasion, okay? So, 750 HP, 750 HP, that's 1500 HP. Oh, wait, but guess what? There's also an additional max HP plus 100. So, it's 850 HP times 2 that you could run. Okay, so you're... You are getting 1700 HP from these two crystals, bro. <laughs> you're getting... You're getting 1700 HP. From two crystals. Okay? HP scales with DR. They scale, well, they don't scale off of each other. They just scale really well together. Okay? Which is ridiculous. Okay? Now, we have this, right? Recovery items, such as the standard life potions, right? Is increased from 275 to 550. Okay? Not only are they increasing the HP potion by almost double. Oh, actually, it is double. We're getting double the amount of HP per potion. Right? If you guys ever looked at the cooldown for the HP potion, it's literally two seconds. So two seconds, you get 550 HP. So that means every four seconds... You get 1,100 HP every four seconds, and I'm gonna call this era. If these changes go to to normal, right? If these guys, if these changes go to normal, right? To normal servers, I'm gonna call this the the whale potion meta because basically you're popping a mini whale potion every two seconds, which I don't know how many of you guys can kill a person who's popping whale potions consistently, but if they get up. They're not dying. They're not dying, bro. They're not dying at all. Let me see if we can find a whale potion. Whale. They're not dying. Wow. 500 HP right now. 750 HP. Like, it's gonna be really annoying to kill someone. If, you, if they get up, they're just gonna get up and they're gonna run away. Because 1,100 HP every 4 seconds is ridiculous. Okay, so while you're comboing someone... 
They're recovering 1,100 HP because usually a combo takes about five seconds, five to six seconds. Okay. Cool, right? So we got that. And it says, uh, please note the falling percent HP classes. They're trying to do a percentage HP, right? Also, they're changing, uh, what is it called? HP on uh, whale potions too as well. I don't know the exact thing about it is, but they're also doing... They're increasing whale potions too as well. It, it, it makes sense, right? Like, with this patch, average maximum health adventures will increase supporting with recovery items will also change, right? So this means that they are also looking into increasing well potions. So not only do you got this big mofo right here, 550 HP per, per that, but the thing is, is that if you think about it, the little well potion right now gives us double of what a regular potion is. So the little one gives 500 HP, right? So that means if this guy is getting up to 550, then that means this guy needs to get double, okay? So that means this guy needs to get double to like 1,100. So can you pop through 2,000 health in a combo? I don't think you can. Everyone's going to be unkillable, right? Lastly, in addition to the patch above, there are big and small changes. Oop. What? What happened? Okay. Lastly, in addition to the patch note above, there are big and small changes to some characters. After all, the number of hit reduction, we are continuously checking the performance of each character through the data today. We have reflected on the information, blah, blah, blah. We wanted to avoid the downward adjustment so much, but some classes were inevitably adjusted, Berserker, Draconia, etc. Just get bullpen devils. Yeah, I guess. So... Basically, they're removing all healing from all the characters right now. So every single health uh, Related thing Like let's say like Zerker's Roar, Draconia's heal, like everything that gets HP back on hit is Basically just getting removed from the game. Cool, right? They, they answered one of my things. There's too much healing in the game But they also Double the amount of HP potions and then they add more protection on some skills for Zerker. So it's just like... Why are you guys removing the healing on things, especially for Zerker, right? Like, when's the last time you used a Beast Roar? When's the last time you used a Beast Roar, a Shift Q, for the healing? I never actually used a Shift Q, a Beast Roar, an IR the Beast for the healing. I used it for the super armor or the frontal guard, okay? There's a reason why I took out one of my healing abilities for fucking acts of destruction, okay? I could honestly be running the other heal, the the Wailing Beast right here. I could be running this Wailing Beast right here to get the other heal. Now I'm using acts of destruction because the heals on Zerker are just dumb. Like, this, this change isn't really going to affect us that much. Oh, we lost healing on our skills. Who cares? We got a 550 HP HP potion going on every two seconds. It doesn't matter, dude. It doesn't matter. So now, we're gonna go into the regular Berserker changes, okay? I'm not gonna go over the succession stuff, because I do not know anything about it. Okay? So this is Common Berserker, okay? Fierce Tyrant, blah, 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 all of these are just gonna remove health recovery. Cool, right? They did that to all the classes. Wrath of Beast minus 20% reduction has been added for 5 seconds on successful hits. So you're going to use these as CCs. Basically, you're, they're putting a 20% movement speed debuff on it. Uh, Wrath of Beast and Ire of the Beast, the defense judgment and the skill of Wrath of Beast have been changed from Frontal Guard to Super Armor, which is great, right? Honestly, not, not Wrath of Beast, because like, Wrath of Beast, okay, having the Frontal Guard is really important for Node Wars. Because if you got if you're trying to frontline and you somehow get in the front line and you just you know need a reposition and you're getting slapped, the frontal armor, especially if they're all over your base farming you like ants, is gonna save you more than the super armor. Because you being a super armor, you're, you're still taking damage. But if you're in a, but if you're in super, uh, if, but if you're in frontal guard, you're not taking damage until the thing is broken. So that's good. Lava piercer has been changed where you don't recover stamina. Time to Rock uh, has been changed from Front to Guard to Super Armor. This is a big change. This is a humongous change. Finally, they listen to us. They give us something really good. 
Super armor on time to rock. Holy crap. We're going to be crazy with the amount of setups because now we can get really ballsy with it and actually use it to like reposition against iframe classes without having to worry about getting, you know, chipped in the back by a moving DK or a lawn with a multi-hit CC. Right? Predatory hunting, uh, absolute, you know, no stamina recovery. Who cares, right? If, if you're playing Zerker, you do not know how to recover your stamina in a, in a good boy way. Uh, that would kind of suck. You know what would really suck? If... Hold on, I'm gonna... Okay, cool. Because usually as a Zerker, the way how you recover stamina is by doing what's that called? Devastation to recover your stamina. So th that's like the safest way to recover your stamina as a Zerker right now. So you see my stamina, boop, 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 And then you just use Devastation. And then you just like go and then you go from there. So yeah, like Devastation is going to be the way how you do it. I feel like the Lava Fiercer one is going to be the one that's going to break the camel's back with the stamina stuff. But we'll see when it comes in. Yeah, Feral Stampede, but who's gonna use Feral Stampede? I don't play Awakening Zerker. I mean, I don't play Succession Zerker. Feral Stampede is a... Mm -mm. What you could do... What you could do is... You could just, uh... Ground Lift. You could just Ground Lift. So you could just, like, Hop Bar Ground Lift, and then... Cast a slow version of Ground Lift, and then have it protected to re to regen some too. Feral Stampede OP? No, it's Ground Lift. Ground Lift is more OP than Feral Stampede. I will prove it to you right now. I made a whole video on this. I made a whole video on this. Ground Lift. Ground Lift has four hits, okay? Stiffness on hits, okay? So Ground Lift is stiffening four hits, okay? We go over here. Feral Stampede, three hits. Stiffness on hits. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's less amount of hits than ground lift. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, wait. There's a four to make it protected? You don't move while you ground lift. That's fine. Why would you throw an unprotected skill that is disjointed and you get knocked out of it all the time? Like, it's a, it's a good skill, but ground lift is better. Because number one, like, you're not, you're not protected. You're not protected in, in Feral Stampede. And ground lift you are. And it's a 360 that goes around. I'm talking about using Stampede as another way, not using Stam. Just a free movement. Yeah, but it's going to get you CC'd. It's gonna get you CC'd. Like, any move, like... You could just say holding W fucking makes you get stamina back. Because it wastes, it wastes no thing. It's the same thing. You know? It wastes, it wastes no stamina just hitting W. You know? Yeah, I say it as the same thing. Feral Stampede and just holding W is the same thing. Nah. That, that's how I see it, bro. Like, if it doesn't have protection, I'm gonna start comparing it to all the other moves that recover stamina that doesn't have protection. You know? So, yeah, W key or back, you know, you can just hold back. This gives you a frontal and it recovers stamina. And you're moving. You're moving and it doesn't have a fucking cooldown. If you just hold back like this, it's way better than Feral Stampede. <laughs> Obviously, I'm fucking trolling, okay? <laughs> Obviously, I'm trolling. Um, you're asleep. I'm not sleeping on Feral Stampede, dude. I use Feral Stampede. Feral Stampede is actually... It's it's a very underwhelming skill now. Back then it was decent because you could throw out like 30 to 60 hits of stiffen. Now you only could throw out like maximum 9. Maybe you like click it in a circle. So if you click it in a circle that's 3, 6, 9 and then you don't have enough to do the full thing. So they do that like that's that's 9 hits of stiffen right here in the middle. But if I just do this right here, if I just do a ground lift, that's fucking 4 hits of stiffness all around. The secret tech for bomb spin.
Okay, okay. I thought I had to do something. The secret tech is where bombs spin, bro. Fuck, maybe. I don't know, bro. But he here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. Now we're going into the awaken, bro. Giant Leap has been changed to the following. When locking Tackling Rock, it has changed to it being linked with forward leap of Giant Leap from the main weapon mode when Predator Hunt skill has been on has been locked. So basically, either you could go what is it? Damn, where is it at? Tackling rock, you can go this into like a giant, okay? But you can't. You, I'm pretty sure you have to hop bar it. Or you can go this. This can you even have tackling rock? Did they even put like this the Please tell me, because I if if I remember, tackling rock does not have protection. Forward guard, okay. Okay, okay. Good, okay, good. Movement speed minus 30 on hits. Forward guard during skill, nullified on cooldown. Okay, this might be good, this might be good. Yeah, I agree with this. I remember this shit didn't have protection on it. But yeah. So yeah, forward guard on this, kinda good, not gonna lie. And then you could go into like a giant leap into this shit, like that's amazing. Okay, that's gonna change our movement skill. Lost you can do 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 and then and then fucking giant leap, like That's gonna be some crazy ass tech. And I'm assuming that if you hop bar your giant leap, you could use it because it's saying that you could use it from pre awakening. So it's saying, hey man, you can use it from pre awakening. So even if you don't use the tackling rock from this and then into a giant leap, you can just fucking hop bar giant leap, you know? Just hop bar giant leap and just go. What? Because it says. It says the forward giant leap, okay? Which is underwhelming, right? Because we always want the. The the backwards giant leap, but I'm pretty sure if we can. Uh, where's giant leap at? Where, where's the flow giant leap? No, you can't. Okay, so Giant Leap, you can't hop out of the back version. It's only the forward version, which is pretty dope. So we're going to be spamming Giant Leap a lot. And for us to spam Giant Leap, they're going to be giving us basically two seconds off of our cooldown, which is crazy. Eight, uh, Ten seconds down to eight. Okay, here is the biggest change, though. Here is the biggest change. Shooting mobility has been changed to the following. Uh, the This has been removed. Uh, what is it? We get a buff for damage if we hit someone with shooting mobility in the middle of a combo no one uses it okay no one uses it unless you get like a crazy down smash okay now it's the stamina consumption has been changed from 300 to 150 amazing oh shit i'm looking cute hell yeah hell yeah dog so yeah we're basically getting our stamina reduction by half great right all w's now here's the crazy part about this okay 10 seconds to 5 seconds, bro. 10 seconds to 5 seconds, dude? Hell yeah. This is the big change that I'm excited about. I'm more excited about this than this. I could be proven wrong, though. But just like, you know, shooting mobility, I always, every time I, I tell myself, I'm just like, bro, if only shooting mobility was, was 8 seconds, bro. If only shooting mobility was 8 seconds. Now it's 5, dog. So look at this is a sequence that I'm going to be doing. And this is this is just an example, okay? So shooting mobility, this is the cooldown of shooting mobility right here. So you guys can pay attention to it. Right? It's a 10 second cooldown right now. But what you could do is you could be like, Alright, dogs. We're going to go warp, warp. And then warp. And then swap over and then warp. And then, like, basically shoot him mobility again after that sequence. Like, that is quick, you know? So you could be like, shoot him mobility, giant leap, giant leap. You know, this right here, swap, shoot him mobility. And then, like, it's just like, <laughs> it's gonna be, you're gonna be using shoot him mobility 
so aggressively. It's gonna be crazy. Uh, what's up with you putting your cooldowns like that, bro? Um, what's up? Called? Every time I go and I change my settings for the game, it shifts all of my cooldowns up. It shifts all my cooldowns up like that, so I just like refuse to like edit them. Does that make sense? And I don't think I could touch them no more, to be honest. I don't think I could touch these no more. <laughs> Yeah, these, these things keep on getting shifted up, and I don't think I could touch them no more. <laughs> like, they're just, they're just permanently up there, like... <laughs> oh my god, that's funny. Yeah, I can't touch these no more. The function bar is, like, preventing me. Oh, wow. Yeah, so basically we're getting half of the, the, the stuff now, bro. We're getting half of the stuff now, dude. Like, it, it's gonna be crazy. Like, shooting mobility, you're gonna actually, like, use it, bro. They nerfed Ninja Murderous Attempt to 5 seconds from 2? Hey, man. Hey, man, I, I don't pay attention to other classes. Okay, so now Flame Pumble. When using Flame Pumble... Uh, skill 4 guard has been added to the first, second, and third hits of the attacks. This is mostly a grinding thing. They should just honestly say, hey man, Flame Pumble's cancelable. Literally, that's it. Hey, hey guys, uh, I know you guys have been asking this ever since we took away General Disarray. Uh, yeah, like, we, we were making it cancelable. No, they're just gonna put 4 guard on it. First, second, and third attacks. Like, does, isn't that every attack of Flame Pumble? Isn't it three hits for Flame Pumble? Oh, there's four hits. The last attack is just, uh, two hits. Okay, so technically all hits, except for the last, last hit. Which is dumb. And then ground lifting, there's an issue with a character's instantaneous slowdown effect was successfully applied when successfully hitting with the ground lift has been alleviated. Which means that uh, might be this right here, where you go right here and your ground lift comes off slow, which I have noticed that, or whenever your ground lift, um, you get slowed while you're trying to do a ground lift and your character stays there forever, but I'm pretty sure it's talking about whenever you do this combo right here and you hit someone and it sometimes comes out as a slow ground lift instead of the canceled ground lift, um, yeah, that, that happens a lot. So, it's a bug, it's random, it wasn't in my head. And I was correct the whole time. That the class feels inconsistent right now because my ground lift isn't canceling like how it should be. So yeah, that is basically the my uh that's basically the patch notes for Zerker. It's it's decent, it's just the overall changes are kind of dog water, okay? So that's basically it, you guys.